Hey church, it's a glorious fall day and I'm standing by the apple tree at the corner of the church's driveway. Right now it's, it's lost all of its leaves, there are no more apples on it, but about a month ago Heather and I brought a ladder out and climbed up and uh, picked a bunch of apples, took them home, baked them, and made some of the most fantastic applesauce. Just a nice, sweet, tart applesauce. A nice gift from the fruitfulness of this tree. And right now in Christ Church, one question we're asking is, how is God bearing fruit in the church's life right now? Because God really is bearing fruit in the church's life. I've been enjoying gathering for Alpha with uh, about 17 other people. We've been exploring life's big questions and looking at the Christian faith and how Christian faith really reaches in to the heart of our hopes and our dreams, our disappointments and our struggles. And we're finding that we have so much in common, so many of the same questions. We're opening up and sharing our experiences of life and, and asking how God has to do with them. Uh, this is how some of God's light is shining in CPC right now. Just trying to become a community that is as open to Jesus as possible, as open to each other as possible, and is ready to become the kind of people that we would be when our hearts and minds and our lives and our hopes and our faith are set on Jesus. We're going to be hearing about this in worship for a few weeks. A few people are going to share the light that I see in CPC. In the past few months, yeah, we've been going through all kinds of changes and some struggles, but God's light has been shining and we're going to celebrate that. We're also sending out this weekend a giving letter that invites gifts to Christ Church for 2021. And not just to support a budget, but as an investment in the kind of people God is calling us to be. People who are about loving God, sharing relationships, and serving others from the heart of Christ. This isn't about just keeping the lights on in the church building, although certainly the budget supports that. It's about staying open to the light that God is pouring into us as God's people and being open and creative for how God's life and light might shine in and through us. With that letter, you'll find a pledge card. It will come to you by mail. It will also come out by email. So whether electronically or by, uh, by a, paper, um, a paper version, I encourage you to take seriously how God is calling you to invest your time, your energy, your prayer, but also your finances into the community that God is building in Christ Church. There's a wonderful story from the monk Thomas Merton that he was in the chapel of his monastery one day and he saw a young monk kneeling at prayer in the monastery and his brow was furrowed and, and he looked like he was just trying so hard and praying so hard. And for sure, there are times when we pray hard and really feel like we're doing it. But, but Thomas, he came over to this young monk and said, Hey, take it easy. Why are you trying so hard? How does an apple ripen? It just sits in the sun. And really, as Christ Church, that is our primary calling. To stay open to the sun, the light, that God is pouring from God's self always and forever into our hearts, into our minds, into our soul, into our strength, so that we would become more and more the people what God would have us be as the church. So pay attention to what's in this e-news. Consider it an invitation from God to get in on something, and let's all get in on, however we can, giving to support Christ Church now and into the future. Let's keep on being God's light-filled people. That's what God graces us to be. Thanks be to God.